It has been documented the 24 of Chase Elliott knew he had a problem. They lifted the hood, tried to find and diagnose what that problem was, couldn't find it, and just last lap, smoke starts rolling out and the en engine expires for Chase Elliott. That's a disheartening scene right there for the crew. You know, the engine manufacturer is going to feel awful about the failure of the team. I mean, you're never really even got a chance, Jeff, to see what kind of car you have. In such a huge race, too. It's such a letdown to have a problem at the Brickyard, one of the biggest races of the year. Kelly. And I can tell you that Alan Gustus and the crew team was working with the engine guys to still come up with a diagnosis, even as the engine blew. At one point, they had talked about changing the ECU. Uh, obviously, Chase now on his way back to the garage where they hope to find out what the cause of the issue was. It's the first time that Chase Elliott has ever had an engine failure to where he wasn't able to finish a race. Chase back in the garage now, what more do you know? Uh, we don't really know, some type of motor issue. Went down a cylinder and then started blowing smoke out the pipes. So I don't know what it was, we'll dig into it and see. But uh, I mean, that, I've been racing Hendrick engine since 2013 and this is the first engine problem I've ever had. So I'll take those odds all day long. Still have the best uh, engine shop in the, in the business and uh, stuff's gonna happen. We're pushing it uh, as everyone is. So we'll uh, move on to next week and see uh, what we got there.